Keystone Stitcher and today I'm here with something very different for my channel. I want to talk to you about floss, about kidding up projects. Um, I want to show you what didn't work for me and what is working for me now. So first off, my history. I have been stitching for 30 years. I think I started stitching in 1991. And when I did, I started with one project. I was a monogamous stitcher. And I purchased the pattern. It was a leaflet from a craft store. It was a Paula Vaughan. I'm gonna quit using my hands, I'm sorry. It was a Paula Vaughan and I went, found the leaflet, walked over to the floss, went through the chart and picked up one of every floss I needed. When I picked up a second chart, I went to what I had at home and whatever I didn't have that was needed for that chart, I bought those extra flosses. And so then as I started adding more and stitching on more than just one project at a time, I would do the same thing. I would go to what you would call your master, which for me wasn't even close to a full master set. I would see what I had, put that aside for that project. What I didn't have, I would go buy. Well, Obviously, as I was pulling from my small amount of master floss, it meant that I had very little left over for the next project. And so I would need to buy pretty much all the floss for that project. Fast forward to I found full coverage. Now I always like stitching things with a lot of detail Paula Vaughn's are highly detailed. And that was what I started with. So I always refer to that as dense stitching. I didn't like little motifs here and there without, you know, I, I wanted a, a picture. I wanted to stitch on something densely. That meant that I ended up with a lot of floss now because I started kitting up my, my full coverage pieces, whether it be heaven and earth or, or whatever. And I would kit up one, one floss, so one skein for every color needed, and then as I used it up, I would buy the next one, just to save on initial cost in kitting it up. But I ended up with a lot of floss. I would finish a project and go to put that floss away so I could kit up another project, and I was running out of places to put it because I had... I eventually found the double-sided cases and I had that and then I had the smaller cases and I would use that for the individual projects and I had a stack of those and it was driving me crazy. It, it literally was driving me crazy. As many of you know, I recently downsized and went to an apartment. I typically am a minimalist in most of areas of my life. But my cross stitch was no longer a minimalist hobby. It became something that was overtaking my, my space and, and just driving me crazy. So I decided I was gonna stop kidding up. I was going to figure out what I needed to actually have a full master set of DMC. And I was going to buy that and set that up in my double-sided case. And then I was going to use, I had two double-sided cases. The second one I was going to use to store all the floss that I no longer needed until a new project would come up. But even that, as I would finish a project and try to put it in, the organization of keeping it in numerical order fell apart because I was too lazy to take it all out and reorganize it every time I had new floss to put in. So this past month, beginning of June, I sat down and I pulled everything out. I had a double-sided case filled with all my excess floss. I mean, filled to the brim where you couldn't shove another bobbin in there. I had a couple of your smaller cases, bobbin cases filled with floss. I had gallon-sized bags I had one gallon size bag and I had a couple other smaller bags. And every time I needed to know if I had a floss for a project, I would have to pull 
all of that out and go through everything. It was time consuming. It was ridiculous. So here's what I did. So let me show you first. This is my double sided case and this is my master set. So this is one skein of everything DMC has. Um, it's nice. I've used the plastic bobbins because I found the cardboard bobbins first they, they bend, they fall apart. They, they don't last very long, but the, the cardboard ones don't fit in these double sided cases. And so you're trying to force the lid closed. And I was concerned eventually I was going to break the lid. So that's first, this is what I have. Okay. So then I have, sorry, I have to set this down. Then this is my secondary. Now this is one skein of everything that I don't currently need, but I had bought for doing projects. So I went through everything I had, organized it and put in one skein to work on a secondary master set. I need 104 more skeins of floss for this to be a full master set. And so what I want to do is start with my master set. Whenever I'm working on a project, if I run out of a skein, I can come to this and pull it for the master set. And I'll just switch the bobbins back and forth and I will put it on. I have in my phone, I'm recording. I can't show you. I have a program called keep notes and I have a little list. Every time I pull a floss from here and I don't have another one to replace it, and I'll get to that in a minute. I will write that down on my list. And then once a month or so, I will go through, see what I need. I never shop more than once a month for my stuff because if I do, I find that I'm just, I'll end up buying something I don't need. So if I say, oh, I need this one skein of floss, I'll order this. Well, then I'm going to order something else to go with it. Cause do we really want to pay for shipping for one skein of floss or do I really want to go to the store and walk in for one skein of floss? No, I'm going to walk out with a few more things. So by only shopping a minimum of once a month, it limits how much excess I might buy. Then I took, and I'll show you what this is. This and you can see, here's my hand. So you can see this is a, I don't have a very big hand, but you can see how big this basket is. This is the excess floss that I don't need in my master set. I don't need in the secondary master set. These are duplicates. So I have decided that what I would do is I would keep up to four, no more than four skeins of floss. So these are little snack bags. No, I didn't do four. I have four of um, 939 because I know I'll use it, but the, I'm keeping two. Okay. So you can see here, this is 3363. So I have put, this is all the 33s. This is up to two skeins per color. So you see some only have one. And as I use this up, I can toss these bags and I'm never going to have more after this than my two double sided cases. So I have passed on all those smaller bobbin boxes, but now I have a lot more here. So you can see this is the 3700s. Yeah, th this is, yeah. So I want to get rid of this basket and not have this filled with floss. This is working well. I've been using this now for th this idea of the master set and then pulling and not buying for a couple of months. I wanted to make sure this was going to work. The idea of having all this extra floss, let me show you, sorry for any crinkles, this, is what I still have left after these are gallon size bags. This is a gallon size bag here. Here's a gallon size bag here. And then this is 29 skeins that I had bought for a monochromatic project. And then I decided I didn't like it. So we'll get into that in a minute. So here's where you come in. 
I'm going to give all of this excess away. It's going to take me a long time to use up everything in my basket where I have to. Now, remember I said four skeins. You can see here, this is $37.99. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus a bobbin. But I use $37.99 a lot, so I know I'll use that up. But that, that's where I was looking. I saw four skeins in one of the colors. Okay, so first of all, I have these. Now, I don't have any partial bobbins. You can see there's a lot on every one of those bobbins. I also have some skeins that have never been bobbinated. And this one here has a lot of unbobbinated skeins. So we are going to say this one without, this one that has a lot of bobbins that are not bobbinated is going to be the, number, the first giveaway. So if you, and then this one will be second. So there's roughly the same amount. This one doesn't have, this one has more skeins that are bobbinated. This one has a lot of bobbinated floss, but it also has a huge amount that are not bobbinated. There's also in each one, I can see one right here. So this is a DMC variegated. There's a country cottage hand dyed here. In this one, there's a Threadworks right here. So this is a mixture of, there's also a couple of country, or of um, a couple of the other um, specialty flosses. So if you would like a bag of my floss, now I will preface this first by saying that I have no pets. I occasionally dog sit a dachshund, but she doesn't get anywhere near my floss. I have no cats, so if you're allergic to animals, there's no animals that have been around this, and I'm a non-smoker. This is a non-smoking house. So if you would like floss, I will pick two winners. Like I said, this will be number one. This will be number two. Use the keyword favorite. Now, I was thinking your favorite color, but you know what, to keep the trolls away, you can write anything you want as long as the word favorite is in there. It could be your favorite floss, your favorite food, your favorite season. Just use the word favorite. That's what I'm going to look for. Okay, so then next, I have 29 skeins, never bobbinated. These are brand new of number 115. This is DMC variegated. I was going to use it actually. No, it wasn't this one. I was going to use this for the linen and threads uh, band sampler. I think it was... 2017, 2018, and I did it on white, started with the 115, did not like it, pulled it out, got a different colored fabric and stitched it with white. As a matter of fact, you know what, I'll put a picture here of what I ended up with just so you know what I'm talking about. If you would like 29 skeins of 115, use the keyword red, okay? The next thing I have, and these are brand new, I thought maybe this would help. Um, instead of kitting up, I thought I would use this, but I really hate floss drops. So after I bought it, when I thought about putting my floss on here, I decided this wasn't going to work for me. So there are five of these plastic cards. I purchased these off Amazon. And you know, use the word organize if you would like these. So they're still sealed in the plastic. I've never opened it. So you can have those. Oh, I didn't take this out. And finally, I was also going through, hope this isn't too loud, going through all my Ada. Now I'm an Ada stitcher. I don't stitch on, on anything larger than 20 count. I have, I, not long ago, I did a video showing you all my charts, everything that I have. And when I thought about that, I had all these scraps of fabric that I cut off because I'm thrifty. And I went through all of that and I assigned a piece of fabric to each of my charts that I own. And this is what I have left over that I don't own anything for. And so I'm going to give these away. So this one, this was 
from Heaven Earth Designs. No, it's not. <laughs> this is from Picture This Plus. I want to say this is earthen. Um, it's showing up a little bit brighter on screen than what it is. This is a 16 count or an 18 count. I don't recall. This is a small scrap. This is Moon Glow by Picture This Plus. And, but that you could use this for an ornament if you have ornaments. This, I don't recall what it, the name of it was, but this is a, an opalescent. And yeah, so, you know, you can see my hand here. You can easily do an ornament on that. This is a very small piece of Ada. This is just a, like a light bluish gray. I have another piece of, this one's not picture this plus. This one is, this is a witch ult, and I don't recall what it was called. I like to stitch on rain and this is, they have two, two different ones. This is the other one. So rain and then this. All right, then I have a long, narrow piece. You can see this. So if you have narrow band samplers or you just want to cut this up, this is very light pewter by Dement, or I can't get names going today. Uh, very light pewter by Zweigart. And we have a piece here. This, I believe, was an x design, but don't quote me. I have a piece of white. Now, nothing here is smaller than, it's either 16, 18, and there might be an occasional 20. I don't recall, but there's nothing smaller than that. Okay, and then we have another long band. So, yeah, I will cut off any excess when I'm kidding up a project because I don't want to keep it. This is a hand dyed by me. And there's a, when I was dyeing this, there was um, another color that got spot, spilled on this. So that's just a dye that's on that. So that's a small one. We have another small piece here. This is, this is the Witchell 16 count rain. Very floppy, very soft. I don't recall the company I bought this from, but this is another hand dyed. This is a decent sized piece. I just don't have anything that would fit on it. And finally, this is a bigger piece. Again, it's long and narrow, but uh, this is one that I dyed. This was the excess piece from Masquerade. So if you would like some Ada, um, use the keyword Ada and you will get that entire pile of excess fabric that I have. So I just need to, I, I just, I can't stand having a bunch of stuff, having to store it, having, I, I does not work for me. <laughs> so hopefully you will benefit from this. Um, hopefully you will enjoy this. I, I don't know what else to say, guys. That's it. I will be back on the 15th where I will announce the winners. Um, I will not write you won or congratulations or anything. I will leave you a comment, but I will, um, I'll just leave an emoji of some sort. I haven't decided which one because I understand that when people are doing giveaways, there's a problem with somebody messaging and saying, you know, hi, I'm the person that won this when they're not. So I will avoid that in, in the comments, but I will leave you on the 15th. If you get a notification that I left you a message with just an emoji, which is not something I do, it means you're the winner. So with that said, I'm going to leave you. Um, we are having a dreary rainy day and I'm just going to curl up and stitch after I put all this away. So I hope you have a great stitching day. And see you soon. Bye.